So how do the pumpkins look? Well, pretty pathetic. I was thinking maybe we might have something big enough to enter in the Harvest Festival this year, but unless they're giving out awards for the weirdest looking vegetable, we might as well forget it. Well, they're not the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen in my life, but, well, they're definitely very interesting. Face it, Grandpa, I am worthless as a gardener. <laughs> Nobody's worthless, Drea. Everybody and everything has some glorious purpose. I bet you these babies that win raves in a pumpkin pie. So, Grandpa, how do you like your pumpkin pie? Ice cream or whipped cream? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Standing for that science test. Grab her feet. You get her slippers. Science? I've never yeah. seen her this interested in science. Yeah. Well, ever since she decided she wanted to win the summer internship with the Environmental Society. Well, you know, once she gets it in her head to do something, she has to try. Yeah. Science isn't her strongest subject. And you're only choosing one person out of the whole Oops. school. Door. All I know, she's got her heart set on this internship. She's depending on it to boost her self-esteem. Well, how could she need more self-esteem? She's got friends at school, at church. She's a good student. She's even lost weight with this new exercise program. She's got plenty of self-esteem. Yeah, well, when you're a teenager, sometimes it feels like you never have enough. OK, honey, you're on your own. Drea, you going to make it? Hydrogen, nitrogen, and other elements occurring in biological interaction. Yo, Drea, slow down. You can't be scientific on an empty stomach. Hey, how about a quick EM squared? Toaster, what are you talking about? You know, English muffin, split down the middle. EM squared. <laughs> oh, good shooting. No butter. Good. I'm still watching my calories. Calories. The amount of heat required to raise one gram of water one degree. Ooh, sounds complicated. I'm glad all I ever have to remember is light, lighter, and dark. Or is that dark, lighter, and light? Oh, it's enough to make you blow a fuse. Dear Electronic Diary, ED, everything I do is turning into a science project including yesterday's lunch. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready for great news? That depends. Does it have mold on it? I have just been named activities editor for the Hampton Falls Junior High Herald. Editor already? But I thought only the guys in journalism class could do that. They did. Until me. I can't believe it. I'm an editor, the youngest one ever. And not just an editor, the activities editor. Free passes to all the games and even ninth grade dances. Can you imagine what this is going to do for my popularity quotient? The possibilities are astounding. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, what about you? 
When do you hear about the internship? Well, the letter should be here any day. Isn't it funny how the things you wait for never seem to show up when you want them? And the things you'd like to avoid just keep showing up again and again. Hello, Arlene. Hi, Arlene. You may as well face it, Drea. Even though you'd be a perfect specimen for coastal pollution, you'll never get that internship. Because George Easton has it all sewn up. George applied for it, too? Well, of course he did. George is a natural-born scientist. Unlike some people who just think they are. Uh, but let's talk about something really impressive. Arlene was in Miss Junior Hampton Falls last Saturday night. Well, congratulations, Arlene. Yeah, I think I read about that in the newspaper. Crime section, wasn't it? <laughs> Very funny. It's actually quite an honor with many prestigious personal appearances. Oh, as a matter of fact, besides presiding as queen of the fall festival, I have front row seats to the Billy Holden concert at the college. And then I get to meet him backstage, personally. Billy Holden? You're going to meet him? I would give anything just to be in the same auditorium with him. Well, sorry. The concert sold out in two hours. No more tickets left, except for those of us with connections. Sold out? Drea, do you think your dad could get some faculty seats? Do you think Arlene wins everything because she's thin and blonde? <laughs> well, she didn't win on personality. <laughs> Forget about her. What's really going on? You're bummed about George, huh? It just never occurred to me that he'd apply for the internship. I just can't believe he didn't tell you. Ah, you never know what those mad scientist types are thinking. Ah, Drea Thomas is doomed! How dare she challenge me! Me, with my superior knowledge of science! I shall utterly crush every shred of hope Drea Thomas has of winning the internship! Her self-worth will be the size of a tiny little pea, or even smaller, the size of her tiny little brain. Ah! <laughs> Did you apply for the science internship? Well, yeah. How could you? I don't believe it, George. Why would you do this to me? What? What did I do? This whole George thing really bums me out. But at least I can look forward to a nice, calm babysitting gig with Matt and Rebecca. Come on, Dre, let me show you. Maybe later, Matt. I'm kind of tired right now. Karate's easy. All you gotta do is concentrate. Right, what's wrong with this picture? You can't make fun of me anymore. Ha! I'm your sister. I can do anything I want. Okay, guys. Here's yours. Thanks, Dran. Yours? Thanks, Dran. I thought I heard you kids come in. Mom, what are you doing home so early? Well, Did the I... mail come? Yeah, I put yours upstairs. Oh, Drea, I have to talk to you for a minute. Alone. Oh, sure, Mom. Why don't you guys go on up to my room and do your homework, okay? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Don't chop anything. Oh, what good is learning karate if you can't chop anything? Come on, Matt. Okay, what's going on? I lost my job. What? Drea, I was fired. You're kidding. Fired? Whoa. What did Dad say? Well, I've been trying to call him, but he's been in faculty meetings all day. I don't... I don't believe it. What happened? I'm not sure. I handed in a new marketing plan this morning, and this afternoon I got this memo in my box that said the store was downsizing. That's a nice way of saying they're keeping only those people they think are very important, and I guess I'm not one of them. Mom, I'm... I'm so sorry. My whole staff was let go, too. I feel even worse for them. All those people lost their jobs, and I keep thinking it's my fault. Maybe I didn't run the department well enough, and now everybody who worked for me is paying for it. No way, Mom. You were the best employee Jameson's ever had. Well, thanks, honey. But uh, 
After all this time, all I got was this and two weeks severance pay. It's hard to believe I'm going to wake up tomorrow with no place to go. Oh, Mom. You'll be all right. Come here. what happened. Oh, Drea. Your poor mom. Yeah, she's worked so hard for Jameson's for years and years, and all they gave her was a letter. What's she gonna do? I don't know. I'm sorry, Drea. Thanks, Matt. I know! Watch me break a chair. That'll cheer you up. Here, Drea, it's a real letter from somebody. Maybe this will take your mind off things. Oh, it's from the Environmental Society. It's my letter, guys. Ooh. Dear Miss Thomas, thank you for applying for our summer internship. We're sorry to inform you that you were not selected for admission at this time. Oh. Mm. Well, we shouldn't be doing this. This is all the stuff you're not supposed to eat when you're feeling depressed. It only makes things worse. That's okay. I'll make up for it with exercise. Instead of jogging around the track, I'll just jog around the entire state. I'm sorry about your internship, honey. Me too. I worked really hard. I guess they didn't see it that way. Mm. I know how you feel. Mom, don't worry. You'll get another job. You're the best. Well, thanks, sweetie. But now is not a good time to be job hunting. You know, my friend Martha's been at it for six months. Still hasn't found anything. It's a really tough market out there. I'm going to put my classified ads. Oh. Okay. What's burning? The popcorn! Oh. oh. Some science brain I am. I nuked the popcorn. Aw, oh, come on, Drea. Cheer up. Look at the bright side. Every burned piece of toast has a chrome lining. This is popcorn. Well, it was popcorn. You know, if you spend your whole life trying to toast bagels, you may never realize that what you do best is frozen waffles. Hey, wait a minute. I think you might have crossed a few wires there. That actually makes sense. Hmm, I'd better get that fixed. Oh, very cute. I wonder if they can spell saturated fat. Hey! Oh, 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 looks like the calorie club's having a big meeting. Can anybody join? Sure, but I just burnt the main course. Oh, charred popcorn. Such an inviting aroma. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I didn't call you back, but I didn't get your message, so I was walking out the door. So I thought I'd come on home, and we could talk in person. Drea, I got your message, too, about the Billy Holden concert, but... You know, all the faculty seats were reserved before the student tickets even went on sale, so I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it figures it's just the perfect ending to a truly lousy day. Oh, it can't be that bad, can it? You, you first. first. Well, Dad, the Environmental Society labeled me extinct. Oh, Drea, I'm sorry. So that's, uh, that's why we're having junk food, huh? Oh, there's more. <laughs> it can't be that bad. Wow, it is that bad. Oh. Dear E.D., today's the first day of the rest of my rejected life. I'm not sure which made me feel worse, that I didn't get the science internship, or when I found out that George did. Hello. Drea, you can't blame me just because I got picked and you didn't. Drea! Look, George, it's okay. I'm fine. I was just really looking forward to working at the Environmental Society. Well, maybe they were just looking for somebody who was a little more into science. Oh, so you're saying that you're a better science student than I am? Well, yeah. You know what? You're right. The best person got it. Everybody. And Drea isn't everyone. She's Drea. 
What are you guys talking about? Matt was trying to impress the girls at recess today by showing off with his karate stuff. He got beat up by... Don't. Madeline O'Brien. Who's Madeline O'Brien? Girl in my class. I got pulverized by a girl. Oh, Matt. I'm sorry. That must have been pretty embarrassing. You're like such a loser. Yeah, I know just how you feel. What is this, a pity party? Uh-huh. Come on, Drea, shrug it off. We need a secret adventure. Oh, Rebecca, I'm just not interested today. That just proves that we really need one. Think of an animal. What's the biggest loser of the animal kingdom? She just doesn't give up, does she? I bet you the lowest of the lowest animal still has something cool about him. Think, Drea, think! All right. All right, here we go. Whoa! Yow! <laughs> hmm. This is perfect. Skunks are definitely the social outcast of the forest. Skunks? That's pretty low, all right. It was either that or pond scum algae, and I already know what that feels like. Yeah. I feel right at home. Huh? Flee! Flee, I say! The end is upon us! Not to mention the hounds who shall be upon us anon. The hounds? Yes, the hounds. In a fox hunt, there are the hunters, the aforementioned hounds, those barking heralds of unpleasantness to come. And then there is the hunted. That would be me, the fox. Fox, hunt. I do hope we are clear on this distinction. Exit stage left. Sounds like he's in big trouble. It sounds like we're all in big trouble. Let's go. Oh dear, this is my end. I can't possibly outrun them. A horse, a horse, my fox hole for a horse. Or in this case, a skunk. I'll take any help I can get. I think we all need help. What you right, my good man? When we reach the finish line? I am the finish line. This is not looking good, guys. <laughs> Great, we're trapped. I didn't know it would turn out like this. Now is the winter of my discontent, made into glorious dog chow by these hounds of York. I'm sorry, Fox. It's all my fault. I wish there was something we can do, but we're only skunks. Oh, that I were a skunk today. Wait a minute. There is something that skunks do better than anybody else. I said, good show. Drea, Matt, Rebecca! Drea, Matt, Rebecca! Drea, Matt, Rebecca! Drea, Matt, Rebecca! Your mother's here to pick you up! <sighs> Time to go, guys. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm really glad you talked me into that secret adventure. That's okay. I'm glad Drea smelled us out of it. <laughs> well, I guess everybody's got something they do best. Even skunks and little brothers. It just came out of the blue. My whole department... Excuse me. My whole department was let go. Thomas's. Yes, this is Laurie Thomas. Oh, Mr. Jameson. Uh, thank you for returning my call. Yes, I wanted a chance to... Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. It's her old boss. Old man Jameson? Well, yes. No, that, that's fine, sir. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, thank you. Bye. Good news? Great news. More like an answer to my prayers. 
I can't believe it. I've been unfired. Apparently, the new computer fired everybody, including Mr. Jameson. Can you believe it? He loved my new marketing plan, and he says if I'll come back to work, it'll give him an excuse to promote me to assistant vice president. All right, Mom! AVP? <laughs> Here I was feeling like an absolute loser and had nothing to do with me. Oh, I'll get that. Isn't that wonderful? Mario, wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> George, come on in. I thought maybe you needed a little cheering up. Thanks. I never in a million years meant to hurt you, Drea. I applied for the internship in September, and I had no idea you even cared about marine ecology. Well, George, the truth is, I think what I really cared about was being chosen, so I decided to care about biology. But if anyone deserved that internship, it's you. I don't know. No, really. I mean, I'm just a beginner. You've loved science ever since we were kids. You knew the name of every bug in our black, remember? <laughs> Look, I was really out of line. I mean, I felt sorry for myself, and I made you feel bad for being good at something. Forgive me? Sure. Hey, hey, oh! Oh, I'm glad you're all here. I have got a, a huge surprise. Come on, everybody, everybody, follow me. I don't know what this could be. I hope this isn't going to be embarrassing. Come on. Jim, you're going to love this. You remember when I taught elementary school in Philadelphia? Yeah. Well, one of my students dropped by to say hello. I want you all to meet him. What's going on? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Say hello to Billy Holden. Nice to see you, Mrs. T. You haven't changed a bit. Well, you certainly <laughs> have. You're all grown up. Oh, oh uh, uh, this is our friend Joan Long. Hi, Joan. Nice to meet you. Nice to and, meet you. And uh, this is her daughter, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. And her son, Matt. Are you really a rock star? Only on the weekends. Oh. <laughs> and this is our daughter's friend, George Easton. Hey, George, nice to meet you. Whoa. Your music is very cool. Thanks, man. And this is our daughter, Drea. Hi, Drea. Nice to meet you. Hi. I can't believe you got such a grown-up daughter. Oh, yeah. You got a great dad here. He must have heard me play my lousy version of Swans on the Lake a million times. Oh, you, you could have never been lousy. <laughs> oh, trust me. I was lousy. You see, Drea, your dad was the first person who really ever cared about my music, even when I stunk. And believe me, I stunk. I mean, he could see the inside of... A little kid who had bad fingering technique was a guy who was scared to let his music out. Scared to admit that he actually liked to take piano lessons. So every day I'd go over to your folks' apartment and I'd practice. I never told anybody, though. Finally, one day, I had enough confidence to play for everybody. And boy, did he knock him dead. <laughs> I don't know about that, Mr. Thomas. You know, it's funny I don't get nervous performing anymore, but... I'm having a hard time finding the words to tell my old piano teacher that I wrote a song for him. For me? Yeah. You, you still got that old baby grand? Sure, yeah, to play? we brought it from Philadelphia. Yeah, you, you want to tell It's right in here. Okay. Come on. Here it is. <laughs> Bring back any memories? It looks the same. <laughs> here, let me hold that for you. Thanks. Well, I kind of wrote this song thinking about that little scared kid I used to be a long time ago. But I think it applies to all of us, especially when we feel unsure of ourselves. And it goes something like this. I remember in my life when I couldn't seem to find a reason in my heart to be. to take a chance and what was in my heart and the person I could be I lost my fear of failure when I came to realize that I was still a special treasure in the Father's eyes just when I needed love to reach in the
Thank you. <laughs> what? You're joking, right? Kimberly, Kimberly. Are you positive? George was there. He swears it's true. I have front row seats to the sold out concert by the biggest star in the country. And Drea Thomas gets a private concert in her living room? <laughs> yeah. And he sang her a song he wrote especially for her dad. I can't stand this. This is so unfair. I mean, special things like that are supposed to happen to me. Drea Thomas, I really hate you. I'm sorry I miss meeting Billy. I hear he's got a lot of star quality. Oh, he's really talented. And he's just like a regular guy with 40 million fans worldwide. <laughs> now, I guess it doesn't matter what others see in you if you haven't learned to see your own worth. Makes good sense to me. Me too. Now, let's see if this pie is as good as my new insights. I think your weird little pumpkins had finally found their calling. <laughs> I remember in my life when I couldn't seem to find a reason in my heart to be. Tell me not to take a chance And what was in my heart And the person I could be I lost my fear of failure When I came to realize That I was still a special treasure In the Father's eyes Just when I needed love To reach in the With a little practice, even a small appliance can be a star. I can see it now. I could be the toast of the town. Keep practicing. Oh, how about the toast of to the kitchen? 